All right, guys, this is now iPad OS 17. I just installed it. I uh, ran through it real quick. There's stuff that works and there's stuff that doesn't work. Uh, now there's interactive widgets. So now you, instead of tapping on the widget and opening the app, you can hit play. It'll play the music right now, but if I try to hit play and then stop it, it won't stop. I'll have to go and force close the app. But the widget is working. So of course, this is the first beta. So it's gonna have issues. But if I play it, it will play, but it won't stop. I'll have to force close the app to stop it. Another thing is here, now you have home widgets, so you can add your favorite uh, lights or any quick lights you wanna get to. So that's the TV light. If I go and just tap it, it'll shut off and turn off my TV light. That's pretty fast, so I'll have to tap it again. There you go, my light turns back on. So I'll tap it again, off. I'm gonna tap one more time, on. So it's pretty instant. As you can see, so that's one of the main features. The other main feature is this is the lock screen. So now you have the widgets like you would have on the iPhone where you can go ahead and customize your font. I have to unlock it. Hold on, I have to see my face. Okay, so you can go ahead and customize it. You can click any of these widgets real quick. If you want to get to your battery settings for any of your products, your weather. Actually, that one doesn't open any app. It just shows the battery. This is closing too quick on me. Um, any events you would have here and then your Apple card. If you want your Apple card to show up, it will show up there. So if you click any of these, it will, sh it will open. So if I tap it, it's, it's going to ask me for my face. And there you go. It pops open. And then, uh, like I said, the lock screen was the main update as well as the interactive widgets. So these do work. Um, the music works as well, but it won't stop. Um, other than that, you're supposed to be able to uh, click any of any events you can get to, um, just not opening the app, but going straight into the event um, if you have any. And then the weather app is pretty much the same. If you click it, it'll give you a lot of information. Um, other than that, it runs pretty well. Everything opens up pretty fast. Uh, I haven't ran into any other stutter issues. So this is another app that uh, was new with iPad OS 17 is the health app. So any information from your watch or your iPhone will sync to the cloud and back to your iPad. So it'll give you any workouts, any steps, any sleep information, standing hours, flights, climb, steps, workouts. You can now see that on the iPad. Um, other than that, nothing really crazy that popped out to me. Everything else is the same. Uh, like I said, mainly that is the interactive widgets and the lock screen. And then now you can control any widgets that you can press with a button right off the screen instead of opening the app and then pressing what you want to press. So other than that, it's pretty cool. This is the 12.9 inch M2 iPad Pro with the Magic Keyboard. And so far, this is oh, iPad OS 17 Beta 1. And you know, you're gonna notice some stutters here and there, but other than that, everything runs pretty decent. Uh, I'm gonna keep making some more videos. So if you wanna see more, go ahead and subscribe and you'll be able to see it when they're, when they're published. Um, but other than that, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them down and I'll answer them when I can get to it. Thank you.